AT&T Prepaid is pretty well known. It's the prepaid service offered by AT&T themselves, and they may actually have the single best unlimited plan in the industry right now. But is it worth it, and should you sign up? In this review, I'm covering everything you need to know about AT&T Prepaid. What the plans are, what features they support, how they compare to the competition, and ultimately, if they are worth signing up for. Hi, I'm Stetson, and I review cell phone plans. My goal is to help you find an affordable plan that meets your needs, and I even designed and built bestphoneplans.net to help make it easy to find and compare plans. Timestamps are in the video description, and let's get into it. So who is AT&T prepaid for? Well, it's the prepaid service by AT&T, and it's designed for people looking for either a great value cell phone plan, or for people who don't want to run the credit check that is required to sign up for AT&T's postpaid service. AT&T prepaid currently offers five different plans to choose from, ranging from $25 to $75 per month. The $25 plan is an annual plan. It's $300 upfront and includes eight gigs of high-speed data per month. What's really nice is any of your unused data will roll over to your next month of service. Hotspot is supported, video streams at up to 4K quality, and you even get free roaming in Canada and Mexico. The biggest downside to this plan is that 5G is not supported. Next, AT&T is offering their $30 plan. This includes 5 gigs of high-speed data per month, and like before, any unused data will roll over to your next billing cycle. Hotspot is also supported, but unfortunately, video streaming is limited to 480p, and you don't get free roaming in Canada and Mexico. Instead, data in Canada and Mexico is pay per use. Calls are $1 per minute, texts are 50 cents to send or receive, and data is priced at an astonishing $2,050 per gigabyte. You also won't get 5G access. Next, we have the $40 plan. This includes 15 gigs of high-speed data per month, data rollover, and mobile hotspot. Video streaming remains capped at 480p, but data roaming in Canada and Mexico is back to being included for free. And 5G access is still not available with this plan. Next up, we have the unlimited plan. This is listed as $65 per month, but it's available for just $50 per month when you activate a new line and turn on auto pay. And you can actually get the auto pay discount applied on your first month of service, which is really cool. This plan includes unlimited data but the data is deprioritized. This means if the AT&T network is busy, such as at a crowded stadium, a sports game, a concert, airport, or other busy areas, your data speeds may be slower than other AT&T subscribers. Mobile hotspot is also disabled by default, but you can purchase five gigs of hotspot data for a $10 add-on. Video streaming is also limited to 480p. What is good news is you do get free data roaming in Canada and Mexico, and since this is an unlimited plan, that means you actually get unlimited data in Canada and Mexico as well, which is kind of awesome. Unfortunately, you still won't get 5G access with this plan. 5G access is only available on the next plan, AT&T Prepaid Unlimited Plus. This is listed for $75 per month, but AT&T is having a special promotion right now where if you activate a new account, you can get it for just $50 per month. And this plan is awesome you get unlimited data, and the first 22 gigabytes are actually prioritized. This means you're getting slightly better performance in those situations where the AT&T network is busy. And from my testing, this has the exact same data speeds and performance as AT&T's postpaid unlimited extra plan. You get 10 gigs of high-speed hotspot data here, up to 4K video streaming, and unlimited high-speed data roaming in Canada and Mexico. Also, as I mentioned, you're finally getting access to AT&T's 5G network. And as a bonus, AT&T is throwing in 100 gigs of cloud storage, but I don't recommend you use this. Uploading anything to the AT&T cloud just means when you go to switch plans or carriers, it's gonna be more difficult. You're gonna have to download that data you uploaded and it could be deleted or lost. So I don't recommend it. Consider using solutions like Google Drive, iCloud Drive, Dropbox, or others for your cloud storage needs. All of AT&T's prepaid plans also include fraud call blocking and spam alerts. In terms of feature support, AT&T prepaid supports pretty much everything you'd expect. You get voice over LTE, Wi-Fi calling, 
hotspot on those compatible plans, and group and picture messaging on both iPhone and Android devices. The one feature that was slightly different was visual voicemail. Visual voicemail worked perfectly fine on my iPhone 12 Pro, but I couldn't get it to work on my Pixel 5 or my Galaxy S20 in their respective voicemail apps. Instead, I had to download a third-party app called Umail to get visual voicemail to work. So those are the AT&T plans, but are they actually worth it? How do they compare to the competition? Well, there are three plans that are not worth it. The $30 plan, $40 plan, and $50 unlimited plan. For the same $30 per month, you can double your data with a plan from Red Pocket. Or if you're willing to pay annually, you can get four times the data amount. And the same thing goes for the $40 plan. You can get plans with more data at lower prices from Red Pocket. As for the unlimited plan, well, the unlimited plus plan is literally the same price right now with the discount and it offers better features. So just get that one. And that brings us to the two plans that are worth it. The $25 annual plan and the $50 unlimited plus plan. $25 for eight gigs is honestly a pretty good value. Yes, Red Pocket does offer the same plan for just $20 per month, and you can get an extra four gigs of data by going with an annual plan from Unreal Mobile, but I think AT&T will offer a slightly better experience. You're getting full support for all features on AT&T. You don't need to configure APN settings or download profiles like you do on Red Pocket. There is no 75 megabit per second speed cap like there is on Red Pocket LTE, and you can even find discounts on AT&T prepaid refill cards that can help bring that cost down even further. I'd still consider Red Pocket or Unreal Mobile if you are looking for that discount, trying to be frugal and get the best bang for your buck, but otherwise, I think the cost and data amounts are similar enough on AT&T prepaid that it ends up being a great balance between price and premium experience. And the Unlimited Plus prepaid plan is also easily worth it. In fact, this may be the single best unlimited plan on the market right now for single line users. Other plans on the AT&T network in this price range are either deprioritized, include a secret limit of high-speed data, or even have a data speed cap. And when we compare this plan to the prepaid plans on the T-Mobile and Verizon networks, you can see it does really well. It's got a little less priority data than T-Mobile at 22 gigabytes compared to 50 gigabytes, but it includes 10 gigs of high-speed hotspot data compared to hotspot data at 3G speeds or none at all, and even 4K video streaming compared to video streaming at just 480p. Plus, you've even got unlimited data roaming in Canada and Mexico. AT&T Prepaid Unlimited Plus really is a gem of a plan, and I think it is hands down the best value premium unlimited plan you can get right now for single line users. AT&T has a great network too. Rootmetrics and Tutela rank AT&T number two when it comes to coverage, just behind Verizon and ahead of T-Mobile. Rootmetrics also places AT&T number two in overall performance and ranks them number one in speed and number one in data reliability. From my experience, I had fast data speeds and good coverage in my market, sometimes hitting over 200 megabits per second down on AT&T 5GE. The only places I had weak signal were inside grocery stores and in my apartment, uh, but coverage and data speeds do vary a lot by location, so just make sure to check a site like Root Metrics to make sure you have good AT&T coverage in your area before you switch. And if you do decide to switch, what is the sign up activation, account management, and overall experience like using AT&T prepaid? Well, sign up and activation are relatively straightforward. You order a SIM starter kit online and then follow the steps to either transfer your number or get a new one. Plus, I learned you can actually take advantage of the auto pay discount on your first bill, which is awesome. Check out my video here or linked in the video description for my step-by-step -step activation guide if you'd like to see the full process. In terms of account management, the website was basic, but it got the job done. The account homepage gives you a good overview of your account with your upcoming bill and due date, a toggle to turn on or off auto pay, a nice overview of your hotspot usage, and even a quick link to jump directly to the page to turn off StreamSaver so you can enjoy your video content 
in full 4K quality. The only thing I'd like to see added to the homepage is what your total usage is so you can tell how much priority data you have remaining. Otherwise, this is honestly a way better homepage than what AT&T has for their post-paid subscribers, which tried to sell me an iPad Pro and get me to upgrade all of my lines, which were already all on iPhone 12s. From your online account, you can also make a payment and use AT&T refill cards or promos. You can switch plans, manage your plan add-ons, view your account usage and billing history, add a line, give a gift to help pay for someone else's AT&T bill, manage your profile and settings like your password and PIN, manage your device, get help, and see any alerts. Like I said, basic, but it gets the job done. Unfortunately, the website is the only way to manage your AT&T prepaid account as of right now. AT&T says they updated their My AT&T app to support prepaid users, but it wasn't working for me when I tested the service. Maybe it's working by the time you watch this video. And that's AT&T prepaid. Overall, the $25 annual plan and the prepaid unlimited plus plans are two outstanding options to choose from. They are reasonably priced, feature packed, and provide an overall good experience on the AT&T network. And if you are looking for an unlimited plan, I suggest you consider signing up for the AT&T prepaid unlimited plus plan soon before AT&T removes the $25 auto pay discount promotion. What do you think of AT&T prepaid? Let me know with a comment down below. Like this video if you found it helpful and Patreon supporters can now vote on what video I make next. Cast your vote by joining the Patreon at the link in the video description, plus get extra perks like behind the scene videos and the ultimate cell phone plan comparison chart. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.